Played for about 15 minutes after an apparent neck injury to defensive back Jay Bowdry. The offense later trying again to get something going. Montero Garrett breaking free for a 12-yard pickup. Later, it's Wirtz getting to the sidelines and going 20 yards. He'd have over 100 yards rushing. He's in New Hampshire territory. This drive stalls. Tyler Bass gets this one up and in from 43 yards out, and it's 22-3. to three. The defense clamps down in the second half, shutting the Wildcats down. Logan Hunt with the sack. The Wildcats pin deep. On the punt, they elect to step out of the end zone for the safety to make it 22-5. To, to the fourth we go, and it's Wirtz. Over to Mark Mashad for 15 yards. Later, it's Wirtz finding OB Fortune inside the 10. A couple plays later, Wirtz hits number nine again, but this time, unfortunately, it's the Wildcats' Isaiah Perkins with the interception in the end zone. Time running out, and Wirtz taking off after the defense would hold. He goes 42 yards inside the New Hampshire 20. And then the first offensive points of the 2017 season coming on the L.A. Ramsby touchdown with six minutes to go, but this proves too little too late. Wirtz goes down, and so do the Eagles by a final count of 22 to 12. We're Kyle and Jared Lott of Smack TV. Each week we go into millions of homes to show you great hunting. And we couldn't do what we do without TC Outdoors doing what they do. It doesn't matter if your adventure takes you fishing in the local pond or on a cross country hunt. TC Outdoors is going to be there for you with gear, know-how and support, just like they are for us. They've been here for years, we know them. And we trust them. So come by TC Outdoors on Northside Drive. Tell them Jared and Kyle sent you. And after the game, we had a chance to talk with head coach Tyson Summers and Miles Campbell about how things went. Yeah, yeah, um, it hurts. Uh, it's, it's a tough one. We got to swallow it, but we just got to move on and get back to work on Monday. What's the thought? What's the mood of the team after the game? Uh, um, like I said, it's, it's tough, man. It hurts. Uh, we know we, we gave this one away. Uh, we made mistakes that we shouldn't have made, but uh, like I said, we're going to continue to just work and continue to bounce back. So. Did you guys underestimate New Hampshire at all, or did uh, you guys? They were a good team. They made hats off to them. They made plays when they needed to make plays, and they capitalized on our mistakes. So that's um, that's really it. Took three quarters to score a touchdown against them. Was their defense that good, or you think you guys still aren't clicking on offense? I uh, don't want to take nothing away from them. I think it was a little bit of both. Uh, our, we made mistakes. Like I said, we had drives where we could have capitalized, but penalties killed us, and they capitalized. But our defense play is good, and they, they did what they needed to win. As far as football game goes, uh, I'm upset as I can be. I'm frustrated as I can be. Um, just uh, and, and don't, not at being able to execute the way we need to. We don't get ourselves out to a start uh, in the first half the way we need to, you know, uh, drive the ball down the first series and have a, a really costly turnover, something in the series that you felt like you should have been able to come away with, uh, you know, a touchdown, at least a field goal, uh, wind up being able to, to, to not get off the field on third down through the other series of it. It's 14 point swing, uh, you know, right there in the beginning where we should have been able to be up at least seven to nothing. Uh, again, first half, not being able to battle back and uh, give ourselves a chance, uh, not being able to get any points on the board offensively and how frustrating that is uh, from a lot of different viewpoints. Uh, you know, lost, uh, again, mentioned it earlier, but lost a turnover battle, two big drives where we, where we wind up making, you know, just poor decisions, poor decisions with the ball and uh, doesn't give ourselves really a chance uh, to do it, you know, and uh, just, upset, frustrated as I can be. A lot of things we got to go back to work at. A lot of things we've got to go look at as a coaching staff, look ourselves in the eye and see if we're doing the right things or not. Um, and that's a big part of as we move into the next uh, week or two. We've got an open week here and uh, we'll try to take a look at those things and see what we can do. Uh, defensively, again, uh, you know, we wind up winning uh, a lot of different things from the statistical category, but that's uh, you know, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we lost the game 22 to 12. Uh, we had our opportunities to get back into it in the second half. 
weren't able to take advantage of all of those opportunities as they came and, uh, and, and you know, wound up getting beat. Felt like in the first half we were beating ourselves. So, uh, you know, positives to take away from it. Uh, Logan Hunt, I thought Logan played well. Logan had two sacks, three TFLs. I thought Mark Rashad was able to catch a couple big passes for us and do something with the ball once he caught it. Uh, I do believe that Shy continues to battle. He had some high numbers from a statistical standpoint tonight. And uh, we've got to come back and go to work. And we've got to, again, all of us, players, coaches, uh, same thing I told them, it is going to be tough. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to have to be able to look at some of the things, again, that we're doing to give ourselves a chance. You know, uh, started off the season 3-0 and last year. And, uh, and we've got to be able to turn our, our, our season around right now, uh, no different than an Arkansas State was able to do last year. And that's got to be the example. And it is. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. Players, coaches, all of it. And, uh, and we're going to have to be able to go back to work and give ourselves a chance once we get into you know, an open week through this next kind of week uh, and what we're doing here in Birmingham and then being able to, to move on once we get back to Statesboro and, and have a good plan for what we're doing. Coach, do you feel like there's major overalls, overhauls that need to be done on offense? Uh, you know, we've got to be able to score points, and we ain't done that. Uh, so we're going to have to take a look and see what all those things are. You know, we tried to be able to make some adjustments to some things, whether it's tempo, motion, uh, a lot of different things going into this game while still staying in what we were trying to do from a base standpoint and, uh, and try to be able to give them some different looks and trying to be able to throw the ball with a little bit more efficiency at times. And uh, so we'll have to take a look. That's a decision we're going to have to make once we get in there, you know, tonight and get back after we've graded the film and, uh, and try to make sure that there's obviously going to be some kind of over, overall, yes. You guys were pretty high on the running backs, obviously. You had two returning guys that you thought a lot of. You also had an offensive line that you guys talked quite highly about mm -hmm. how well they've done. Can you put your finger on what's going on on the offense, why they're not being able to move the ball? Well, you know, a lot of it, again, like tonight, we sit there and we've got plenty of yards, but we don't come away with any points. Uh, we put ourselves in some bad positions. Uh, the, the third down scenario is not terrible tonight, like it, it really was last week, but we've got to be able to do those things, you know. And uh, and at the end of the day, that's that's all it becomes about. How do you score points? And we haven't done that. Um, you know, and I'm as frustrated and upset as I can possibly be. And uh, yeah, there's some different reasons that we feel like those things are getting created. And we've got to, that's our job as coaches, to be able to look at it and be able to make some adjustments. Uh, how big or how small, you know, I wouldn't want to say right now. We'll have to do that when we get in there and look at all of it tonight and in our staff meeting. First time Georgia Southern's been 0 and 2 since 94. First time they've lost to a lower division school since 94. Mm -hmm. What do you tell the fans or the people who are like so frustrated like you are right now mm -hmm. to keep them keep hoping alive? Well, again, our fan base got more than a right to be frustrated. They do, uh, you know, and, and I promise you, I don't want to continue to go through it. I mean, uh, as we go through right now. Our fan base being upset is certainly something I understand. And it's certainly something that I got to continue to combat and continue to be able to try to do a good job within our locker room and making sure that those guys understand in the locker room uh, how much we still care about them. But we got to keep getting better and we got to go to work. Like I told our, our team today, uh, whenever we finished up, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for us to get this thing finished up the way we want it to be. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to practice. Uh, and it's going to be hard in the community. It's going to be hard in a lot of different places. And if we can, if we can dig down deep and we can continue to make sure we understand how much where we're trying to get to and continue down that path, we got a chance to be successful. If we don't, it's going to be even harder. All right, Mike, you got an extra week. Uh, sometimes the bye week comes at a good time. Sometimes it comes at a bad time. I'd have to say that with the way things are going, it's almost time to try to overhaul some things, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know. Shawwurtz did rush for over 100 yards, but he looked tentative out there a lot. I, I don't know that you put all the struggles on the offense on his shoulders, but you know you got Wesley Fields and L.A. Ransby. You're still not making those big plays that Georgia Southern's used to seeing. Do you think this is fixable, or do you think this is something that they're going to struggle with the rest of the season? Well, anything's fixable. No no bad team stays bad forever. They eventually figure something out. Just as no good team stays good forever, they've got to go at it every single day to make sure they're staying at that level. So Georgia Southern, they know what they have to do. It's obvious that the plays aren't there, like you said, those explosive plays that that offense needs to keep their defense off the field, to get them ahead in games so they can play from ahead. Still haven't held a lead at any point this season. So I think it's fixable, but 
I do think that the bye week is definitely necessary, not only with the weather concerns, getting everybody back to town, but I think that a few days of you know uh, uh, long long days in the film room are really what they need first. They need to figure out where it's maybe breaking down mentally or schematically before you can uh, figure out how to get better physically. Do you think there's any chance of going under center any? Do you think there's any chance that maybe they – put LeBaron Anthony or, or Cato, give them a chance at playing some quarterback? Or do you think they just go with shy, keep the offense the way it is, and try to tweak some things? Well, I think that they spent the entire offseason kind of knowing that Shy Wirtz was one of the uh, very likely contenders to be the starting quarterback. And as a young guy, you, you worry about confidence a little bit, but at the same time, you're two games in, and it, it's one thing to worry about a guy's confidence, but he's got to prove that uh, he belongs out there. So with that in mind, I think that they stick with Shy Wirtz. I think that that's what they plan for for much of the offseason. At the same time, he's not the only one that gets reps uh, on practice days so if one of the other guys starts out shining well you say it about every other position and with Georgia Southern a quarterback's a leader but at the same time he's a, a big ball carrier and you got to put your best out there in order to get the offense going. All right as we mentioned a bye week and then on the road to Indiana we thank you for joining us from here in Legion Field. I'm Josh Aubrey for Mike Anthony. Hope to see you again soon.